This is DIYs by Dar, and I am going to recycle it. This nice little chair that I picked out of the garbage. It's too small for really putting a child in, so I think it was more for dolls. And here I have it um, all cleaned up with some TSP, rinsed well, and now I'm going to go ahead and take a look at what I have to do in the way of repairs. Certainly fill a lot of holes and a lot of knots. This is pine wood and gouges. I went ahead and sanded with my surf prep and some 220 grit sandpaper to smooth it all down, uh, get any rough edges that might be sticking up down. I wanted two shelves in this little unit, so I measured up a piece of wood and hit it with the saber saw. And I did ask my husband if he could help me level it up and somewhat hang on onto it to put it in. I wanted to caulk those corners and I'm having trouble squeezing that little bottle there. Um, but it took me not too long, but I did get all of the areas filled. And once I had the corners done, I went ahead and I took some Gorilla wood filler and started to fill the rest of the holes, the nail holes, any gouges, big knots that had a lot of character to it and you could see the divots in the wood. Using that handy tool, the finger. All done, all dried, ready to take out and sand it down. Here I am, 220 surf prep with snow on my boot. Okay, this little chair is all prepped and it's been wiped down and it is ready to go. So I decided to use some silk all-in-one mineral paint by Dixie Bell since it has the primer in it, the top coat in it, and some stain blocker in it. And I thought, well, I think it's going to need a little bit more than that. So I thought, okay, how about some of these sunflower decals? And then I said, nope. We like to be a little bit different, so I decided to try a blend with Silk All-in-One Mineral Paint, Wharf, and another Silk All-in-One Mineral Paint, Baja Gray. So I'm going to try to do a blend on this chair, and then I have two different sets of transfers picked out, both from Dixie Bell. And they're both flowers, so I'm going to let you guess which one I'm going to use. I started with the lighter paint, the wharf, and my plan was going to be to take and have all the corners coming down lighter, and then a lighter area in the very middle as well. So like from the hearts coming down in the middle of the seats, um, I really have to give those gals that know how to blend good a uh, real thumbs up because they make it look so easy and it's not so easy. I did use silk paint and silk paint is supposedly harder to try to blend with because you can't use as much water and it's not mainly a clay based paint. Uh, here was my second color, the darker color, the Baja Gray. So my plan was to blend all those areas nicely. Well, at this point, I've already tried blending for three days now, and I don't even want to look at that video tape anymore because it was very frustrating. So I'm going to try once again, this is my last attempt here to try to do this. Um, 
You know, I realized the piece was probably a little bit small to even try to get a, a good um, transition in my colors. Uh, the colors may have been too close in color uh, because by the end of it, when I thought I really had some decent blending, when the paint dried, to me, all it looked like was the same color. So I, I gave up at that point. I do have three brushes. There's my um, blending brush. And then I had a brush for the light color and a brush for the dark color. And try to remember to wipe your brushes off. Oh, or you get that. Uh, so I did that a few times. Um, just had to go back over it with a little bit of the white paint again. And it seemed like the more I tried to work this to blend it, the worse it was because the paint had started to dry um, and or lift up and not really give the coverage that I wanted. Um, but I struggled with this and by the time I got the one corner done, the other corner was already dry so I would have had to start all over again on that side. I mean, all in all, I guess maybe that wasn't that bad, but I can still see a line right there. Well, I gave up on that side and I thought, this is it. If I cannot get this to blend, I'm, I'm just going to scrap this whole idea and try this again on a bigger piece with some clay-based paints that are more water-friendly. Um, I had changed the way I was approaching the whole project and I was just going to try to get some lighter coming from the top and from the bottom. trying to make um, both of my edges wet right there. I don't think that this was the worst blending. Um, where I saw a problem is the paint was so close in color, I wasn't really seeing any type of gradient change in the two colors. And when it dried, it looked just like this. So sanded it again, painted it with uh, two coats where it needed of just the Baja Gray. And I'm putting the blending on the back burner for now. Blending beat me. Well, time for some transfers. And I picked the cherry blossom, of course, with the gray. And when you're working with decals, when you are pressing on it, 
to get it to go onto your piece, when you pull that back, if your design is lifting, just put it back down and press it on some more and you should get it to release off. Another word of warning is when you're really close on the end like that, on the end of a bud, the end of a stick or, or a skinny stick, be careful um, about letting your burnishing stick um, get off of your design too much onto your bare wood and pressing hard on it because you can leave big dents and scratches in your wood and you will notice it. Yeah, I found out in the last couple weeks that when you get your decals, you can't always determine how old they are in those canisters or packages. And sometimes you can get ones that are completely dried out on the back. And then they're not going to stick. All right, here was the pattern. And when I was looking at it with that gray color, the flowers were beautiful, but they just were not really popping. So I took some acrylic art pens and you do have to shake them for a minute and press them down to get the paint to flow out of them. And I outlined every flower in the color white with a fine tip pen. Now, if your pen gets clogged up because you're doing something like a decal and you get debris on the end and the ink, uh, the paint won't flow out, take and clean that tip. You can even pull them tips out and put them in a glass of water and clean them off. I went ahead and I used the silver color and I outlined all the little filaments that are coming out of the center of the flower. as well as I took a gold pen and I just made little dots all around just to give it a little more bling bling. Wow, a lot better. Now, this is some bare clear wax and it is appropriate to wax your transfers. You need to put something over the top of them. So just go gently over the top and I use silk paint and it, it already has a top coat in it, but I just went ahead and waxed the whole piece. Buff it off gently over your decals. This is what I started with. That little chair sitting on the top of that garbage heap screaming, take me, make me a shelf. And this is what I ended up with. Hey, thanks for watching. Like and subscribe.